let's have a look at square roots and cube roots. These are nice and easy once we've done squares and cubes because they really are the opposite of squares and cubes. Let me show you what I mean. If you're asked to calculate the square root of 9, that's the same question as asking you what multiplied by itself will give you 9 as an answer. Hopefully you immediately know that 3 times 3 gives you 9 as an answer and so the square root of 9 will just be 3. And you know that 3 times 3 we could just write it as 3 squared so this is why you see I say they're opposite, if squaring and square rooting, right? If I know 3 squared is equal to 9, I immediately know that the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So when I'm asked for a square root, I'm asking what multiplied by itself will give me 9 as the answer. So for example, let's do another one quickly. If I ask you what's the square root of 36? Okay, so what I'm asking you to find out for me is what multiplied by itself will give you 36 as the answer. This is where you need to know your times tables really, really well, and hopefully you do, and you immediately know that 6 times 6 is 36, so the square root of 36 is just 6. Okay, let me give you something to try for yourself. Uh, I want to know the square root of what will give you 7 as an answer. Um, I want you to try this in your homework books. Pause the video now and get me the answer. Okay, you know that 7 multiplied by 7 will give you 49 as an answer. And so therefore, the square root of 49 is 7. Cube roots are basically the same sort of idea. If I ask you what's the cube root of 64, well, what I'm asking you then is what multiplied by itself, multiplied together three times, gives you 64 as the answer. And you should know from your work you've done previously that 4 times 4 times 4, right, 4 cubed is what gives you 64. And so the cube root of 64 is just 4. So the fact that you can see they're opposite, cubes and cube roots. 4 cubed is 64 will tell you that the cube root of 64 is equal to 4. Let's do another example quickly. What would be the cube root of 125? What am I asking you here? I'm saying what multiplied by itself three times will give you an answer of 125. In other words, what cubed will give you an answer of 125? Hopefully, you know from all your work that you've been doing on cubes that 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, so the cube root of 125 is just 5. Okay, so how about you tell me the cube root of what will be equal to 6? I want you to do this in your homework books. Pause the video now and get me the answer. Okay. You should have said you know that 6 times 6 times 6 from your work on cubes, you know that 6 cubed is equal to 216. So because you know that 6 cubed is 216, you know that the cube root of 216 is just 6. Cubes and cube roots opposite of each other. So just like we had for the squares and the cubes, 
there's a list of square roots and cube roots that you're going to come across really often and so it's really worthwhile that you know them so here is this list so for example um square root of 81 is 9 right and you know that because 9 times 9 gives you 81 or square cube root of 27 that's equal to 3 why because 3 times 3 times 3 gives you 27 as the answer so these ones these squares square roots and these cube roots are ones that you should be really familiar with. So I suggest if you don't have this list for yourself, now you write it down um, so that you make sure that the minute you see square root of 121, you immediately know the answer is 11. It helps if you can recognize them pretty immediately. Sometimes they can ask you the questions about square roots and cube roots in a slightly unusual way let's just have a look at how we can always answer the questions the way to answer the questions is always to remember that when you asked for the square root of something when you asked to work out what the square root of this thing is equal to what you're really being asked is what multiplied by itself will give you that thing right that was underneath that square root sign Similarly with a cube root, right? if they ask you for the cube root of something, they're asking you what, when it's multiplied together by itself three times, will give you that thing that was underneath the cube root sign. So they can actually ask you something quite funny. Like for example, if they ask you what is the square root of 23 times 23, well, what are they asking you? They're asking you what, when multiplied by itself, will give you the answer of 23 times 23. And the only thing that's a bit confusing here is that it's almost like the answer's already there, right? Because what times itself gives you 23 times 23 is the answer? Well, obviously it has to be 23, right? So the square root of 23 times 23 is just 23. Similarly, if they say, for example, wanted to know the cube root of 15 cubed, what they're asking you there is what multiplied together three times by itself, right, will give you an answer of 15 cubed. And you should know that it is 15 times 15 times 15 which ends up being 15 cubed. So the cube root of 15 cubed is just 15.